hi guys welcome back to my channel step campus so this will be going to a class 3 where we are going to learn about locators in selenium okay so first we will talk about what is locators okay and then we will see how many types of locators are present in selenium okay so for showing you the locators uh, i will go to the browser and i will type any site like for an example type facebook okay so this is a login or sign of page of facebook okay we will inspect this page okay suppose we have to grade this email id okay so just uh, inspect here and just click here okay so you can see this block is made up of so many input tags okay id okay placeholder so many things we have okay so with these components this particular text box has been created right so in this thing you can see this id is there okay so developers made this block with the use of this id okay and the value of this id is email okay For same like if you talk about this is a input tag this is a class and this is a value of the class okay so with the help of this id class and there are so many things okay so with the help of this one we will inspect this block and then we will perform our testing here suppose we have to write the email address here automatically so how can we achieve this one by the help of this tags only okay by the help of this locators we can say uh, only okay so i hope you understand like what is locators okay so let's see how many types of locators are there in selenium okay for this one i will open a notepad i will give you this notepad in the description box so that you can read these things as well okay so the topic is locators okay locators locators in selenium okay first we have id as we have seen as we have just seen now okay second one we have class okay okay class uh, we will say class name okay class name okay third one we have xpath okay fourth one we have css selector okay fifth one we have id already yeah tag name okay sixth one link text okay and seventh one partial link text okay yeah and the last one okay that is text okay so these are the locators available in selenium with the help of these locations we will automate or we can able to automate any uh, test cases and any web applications okay so in the next lecture we will see how to derive how to write a locators okay how to write in a selenium code so that we can uh, get the value of that block and then we can put our values whatever we have to do either we have to click or we have to send the values or we have to have a drop down whatever we have to do we can do it with, with this with the help of this locators okay so in next in next lecture we will see about these things guys so till then happy learning we'll see you in the next lecture bye